What's going on everyone and welcome to episode 12 of the Liverpool Let's Play series here on FM19 uh, and firstly I'd like to apologise for lack of uploads last week if you follow me on Twitter you would have seen why but yeah it's just been a bit of a, a difficult time at the moment but I'm feeling better I'm back on it now and I'm looking forward to bringing you some more episodes so not much has gone on since the last game where we played our first Champions League game against Leipzig let me show you some highlights Cater Fabinho now on the edge. What can he do with it? Crowded out, plays it out to Trent. Drives in inside and the deflection almost goes in. And well, Cresswell's tried to clear him. Firmino, it hits him and goes in. 1-0. Trent with a free kick now. Floats one in, back stick. Fabinho's there. Loops it into the far corner. Lovely header is 2-0. Fabinho from the spot. Finds the corner and continues his fine goal scoring form. Corner from Ox. Swung in, Van Dyke's there, but it's headed away. Forced to cater on the edge. Can he shoot? He does. It's blocked. Scramble, and Van Dyke tucks it away. It's 1 0. Lalana on the edge. Back to Matip. Lovely switch of play out to Chamberlain. He's got plenty of space to work with. What can he do? Drives inside. Gets by the defender. Oh, and it hits Readerwald and goes in. 2 0. Zadavi with a free kick. Floats one fast stick. Readerwald's there. And whoa, he heads one in. He gets one back for Palace. Van Dyke now on the edge with a free kick. He curls one. Oh, that is a lovely free kick from Van Dyke. Makes it 3 1. Sturridge now coming forward. Out wide to Ox is a good ball. Ox with space to run into. Can he swing one in? He does. Barbel at the fast stick and he scored. Ryan Barbel. What a hero. Van Dyke to complete his hat trick. And what a lovely penalty in the top corner. Of over the top for Firmino, it's a great tackle by Cathcart, can Trink get there, he does, heads it down to Salah, Fabinho's on the edge, he finds him and he lowers one into the corner, Pereira, good switch of play to Delefeu, Marino's out to him but Delefeu runs past, he gets the ball in, Gadetti's there, sends it back where it comes from, it's one all. Salah with the corner in just before half time, Gomez, he heads in 2-1 on the stroke of half time. So then, as you can see, three wins from three, lovely form, still unbeaten in all competitions. A 3-0 win against West Ham, 5-1 against Palace, Van Dijk, shout out to him, getting a hat-trick from centre-back, a 9.8. And a 2-1 win away at Watford, it was a, a tough game, Watford are doing well so far this season. If we have a look at the Premier League table, we do sit top, Bournemouth finally lost their first game, but they're still having an outstanding season. But yeah, we are top one point in front of United and Bournemouth. Fabinho, top goal scorer in the Premier League on seven goals. He's also getting the second best average rating. Paul Pogba at the moment getting an 8.1. That is crazy. But yes, we join you today, like I said previously, for the Shakhtar game. Shout out as well. We got my team Reading in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. So that'll be, uh, I won't show it on a live comp, but it will hurt to beat them. But uh, yeah. Shakhtar today got a tough test against Man City in the next game as well. But uh, yeah, this is the team that we are going to go with today in the Shakhtar game. It's, my laptop's acting really slow. My mouse is broken, so I'm having to do everything manually clicking. And it's first word problems, that's all I'm going to say. But um, yeah, Andy Robertson's still out, of course, with his broken leg. He's not going to be back until probably after January, I'd imagine. But this is the team we are going to go with. So, Alisson is in goal. Trent at right back, Moreno at left back, Gomez and Van Dijk in the middle. Danilo is going to be playing the half-back role. I have been switching, actually, between him and Jordan Henderson. Henderson's been playing really well in games that I've brought him in. Um, so, I've been switching. I haven't really... You know, Pereira hasn't been outstanding. Henderson's done well, but Pereira's still kind of my first choice. So, I've been... I haven't really known who to who to pick. Uh, Fabinho and Kate are going to be in the middle. Fabinho switched back to that advanced playmaker role. He hasn't scored as many goals uh, as he did at the start of the season. But um, as you can see, he's still got on the source sheet. He's still playing really well. So, uh, yeah, Kate is going to be in that Mazzala role. Oxley chamberlain is going to be on the right. Elshar in his preferred position of inside forward due to one man's absence that we'll talk about in a minute. And Bobby Firmino up top. Now, I mentioned the absence. Mo Salah, he's on the bench, as you can see down here. But his conditioning, he's had a fitness test. He's not quite fit to start. So, he's there as an option. But Ox can do a good enough job. And I didn't want to risk Salah because we've got some really important games coming up, i.e. the City game. So, without further ado, 
let's get straight into it. Just having a look through the Shakhtar team to see if there's any names that I recognise. There's a few. I recognise these three up top. And then also Morgan Scheidner sat in the middle of midfield. So he's no stranger to a game against Liverpool. Um, and I think, what are we going to say? Um, we are going to say... Teams such as ours should be winning, and they enjoy that. Of course, it is going to be a tougher game. We are away in Ukraine, but uh, we get the match underway, of course, in our purple strip. Don't know why we couldn't have played it. Well, I guess red is kind of close to orange, but maybe an early chance. Chamberlain knocks in Firmino, and it's an early goal. 16 seconds, a lovely run down the right. Great ball in of Bobby Firmino. Sticks it in the net. What a great start. Okay, 12 minutes in with another chance perhaps. Darun makes a good tackle up to Petriak and then he can get it up to Coyote. Now Shakhtar can break. Coyote's got pace, but a couple of players get in on him and we do well. Elshar has to play it back to Allison, but we can build from the back. It's nice. Fabinho now out wide to Ox again. He's got the beating of his man down that side. We know that, but they double up on him. He plays it inside to Fabinho. Cater, long old highlight. Fabinho, Firmino, good tackle. Fabinho... Oh, it's crawled over the line. That is cruel. It looked like the keeper had made a good save, tipping it onto the post. But the ball spin has spent, sent it over the line. And we need 2-0 early on. It could be more. Virgil van Dijk. Oh, his head is over the bar. Good ball in from Trent. We are dominating the early stages of this game. Shakhtar may be able to come forward, but Moreno looks like he'll deal with that one nice and easy. And he does. Van Dijk up to Elshar. Cater. Fabinho. Chamberlain. What can he do? They seem to be doubling up on Chamberlain. They've obviously seen his first goal and realised he is a threat going forward. Cater, Fabinho. We're playing lovely, patient football, just waiting for an opportunity. Fabinho drives out wide. There's a ball in. Firmino's there. Oh, it's just over the top. Trent now, just before half time. Oh, keeper spills it. Well, I thought from there he would get the cross in, but he aims for the shot and it almost pays off. Elshav with a corner from deep. Fabinho's at a fast stick. It's a post. Oh, it's a free kick. And it might have been, I think, Gomez, perhaps, was the man going in on the keeper that may have given away the free kick. But look at those stats. Ten shots to their one. They haven't even shot a shot on target. We are dominating this game. Other game playing tonight. Bayern against Real Madrid. I'm sure there's more games. Anyway, Bayern 1-0 up against Real Madrid. That is a massive group game. But we do lead 2-0 at Shakhtar at the moment. And I'm going to say uh, that... I'm going to say that I'm pleased, boys, because we have played well, to be fair. As Shakhtar get the second half underway. As I record, it is Saturday, the 1st of December, so I hope everyone's starting to feel Christmassy. Today's the first day that I allowed myself to feel Christmassy. I'm at uni at the moment, and uh, Firmino, sorry, I just stopped myself because I thought we had a chance. Oh, well, shall with a shot from distance, it's going to be cleared. Yeah, my parents come up to visit me last weekend. So what was that, like 24th, 23rd, maybe? Um, and we had went out for lunch when they come to visit me, and they were playing Christmas songs. And I know, of course, getting towards the end of November, that's when a lot of people start to, you know, get trees up, get decorations up. As Van Dyke makes it three 0 from the corner, a lovely ball in from Trent Van Dyke in fine goal scoring form. But uh, yeah, we went for lunch, and we were sat beneath one of the speakers where they were playing music, and it was just Christmas song after Christmas song, and it was making me annoyed. It's like, no, it's too early. I'm not a Grinch. I do enjoy Christmas, but I just think there's a time and a place. But yeah, today I downloaded, I re-downloaded my Christmas playlist on iTunes. I've been, I've been listening to that all afternoon. So I'm starting to get in the mood. Although I definitely think I'm going to be asking my parents for a new mouse because mine is now kaput as Keita makes it 4-0, wraps it up. Just like you would a Christmas present. Little bow tie on the top. Lovely, jubbly, proper dominant in this game, I haven't made any subs, I haven't needed to really, we've been marvellous, and the players are looking fresh, although that's an interesting header from Chamberlain, but he'll chase it down, will Shakhtar get one, still not had a shot on target, will they have one now, it looks like they will, I bet they go and score now, Tazon, they do, it's written isn't it, it's just, oh. I mean, of course, we're winning 4-1, so for them to get three goals in, However many minutes is fairly unlikely, and that looks like it's going to be it. But uh, yeah, it's just a bit annoying. A clean sheet would have been nice. Allison obviously back in goal. He's back to full fitness, so he's just been playing non-stop. But that is it. 
for a 4-1 demolition of Shakhtar. Passionately say, well done lads. I wasn't expecting such a good performance. And again, without Mo Salah, we didn't even miss him really. Nice little bit of money in the coffers. And I pressed a button and didn't mean to go there. But as you can see, City next. That is a massive game. They're only fifth in the league. They've lost two games already this season as of Chelsea. So uh, yeah, some some big teams not starting brilliantly. But it's still only seven games gone. Still very tight. Poor Sheffield United. Only one point from seven games. Could be a struggle for them. But look at these player stats. Fabinho, 10 goals already this season. How many appearances is that? 10 goals in 10 games. Wow, that is superb. Seven in the league, one in the Champions League. And I'm guessing a couple... Oh yeah, a couple in the Community Shield, didn't he? So he's the highest average rating. Trent already with five assists. Daily Lowe with best pass completion. We've started well. It's not looking routine just yet, but uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. I think I'm confident. I'm, I'm more confident in the squad this year than I was last, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure we can give the Champions League a good crack. But two games in between, and then we will come back for the trip to Valencia, which will be an interesting game. So, guys, I'm glad I'm back. It's good to be back. Finally sorted out my uh, where I am mentally. And, uh, yeah... Thank you for all the support that's come my way since in this week. Um, you know, just, yeah, I just want to say thank you. It's been probably the lowest I've felt for a while. Um, and, yeah, people that know me that know that I've struggled with mental health for a long time. But, um, yeah, it's all well and good when you speak to people that help. You know, you can't thank them enough. And, uh, like I said, I just want to thank everyone that has been there. But, uh, anyway, emotional rant over. Uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.